From the crossroads of country music, here's the Ozark Jubilee, starring Red Foley. Sure enough, friends, another week's gone by in a great big hurry. And it's time again for your weekly visit with Red Foley and the gang. Hi there, my name's Joe Slatter, and at just a moment, Red Foley. Tonight's Ozark Jubilee, friends, originates on the campus of what all of us here consider one of the Ozark's greatest assets, the University of Missouri, a 116-year-old educational institution whose physical plant covers in all 3,300 acres. And we speak to you in this moment in the studios of KOMU, the University of Missouri's own commercial television station. And now, here's America's number one star of country music, Red Foley! Red Foley! Well, Sam, what a wonderful, wonderful place here to come into your home for our little homespun entertainment called the Ozark Jubilee. A little later on, you're going to meet a whole passel of them here. We got a whole crib full of them, I want you to know. Right now, we'd like to start things off with a number that has been a pretty big one. 355, along with Grady Martin and the Crossroads Boys and the Foggy River Boys, we'd like to do a little tune called Hearts of Stone. <laughs> His heart's of stone. We'll never break the love you give. It just won't take. You can ask them, please. Please, 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 please. And all of your love is that it takes. His heart's of stone. We'll cause you pain. Although you love them, they'll stop and say. Can ask them, please, 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 and all of your love is that it takes, but they'll say no, 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 everybody knows, I thought you knew, hearts are made of stone. Speak of a band, you sort of think of something just, well, uh, like an automobile, something mechanical. We'd like you to meet them all individually. This first boy here you're looking at now with the gold tooth smile, bud. <laughs> <laughs> ah, one of the finest. Some of the boys there sort of say, looks like a taxi cab going down the road with both doors open. But I didn't say that. They said that. One of the finest little boy right here with the baby face, he's the latest one in the band to get hitched up. His name is Billy Burke. He plays his stomach spine way. Billy, how's your wife getting along, baby? She's doing fine, Red. Is that right? She still picked the guitar? No, Red. Now she just picks on me. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> And this boy, his stooge there, did he face to laugh at his jokes. 
One of the greatest of all the old-time fiddlers, all-around fiddlers, a man by the name of Tommy Jackson. Say hi, Tom. Huh? Howdy, folks. <laughs> and old Flat Top over there with the two-headed guitar. Show that guitar, Grady. Pick it up there and show it to him. That goes with his personality, a dual personality. Grady Martin. Grady, you know, Grady's quite a, a flight enthusiast. It's hard to say. Uh... Grady, what's that you was telling me about the flying saucers you saw the other day? Yeah, the other day I accidentally tripped a waitress. <laughs> <laughs> and we're very fortunate to have a man over there on the, what you call piano. Some folks refer to it as the old 88. One of the finest in the business, too. Paul Mitchell. Paul, how you getting along, buddy? Oh, pretty good, Red. I had to go down yesterday and be fitted for glasses, though. Uh, you mean you have trouble with your eyes? Yeah, sort of. The other day I was out there in the back of my place, and I picked up a snake to kill a stick. Oh, <laughs> no. Get away from here. <laughs> oh, well, let's go up in the roost there, fellas, with the camera there. That fella you're looking at now, that good-looking one with the Tony, or what I say? Uh, Jimmy Sal. Jimmy, uh, what you been doing since we saw you last Saturday, huh? Red, I've been building a new room on my house. It's a nurse. Right. You're a carpenter, huh? Yeah, it's a nurse. What uh, you might call a ball room. <laughs> <laughs> and the boy with the doghouse standing up there, the good-looking, young-looking fella there, Bobby Moore. Bobby, have you got anything to say to yourself? You didn't do anything oh, exciting? Been, yeah, I've been asleep all week, Red. <laughs> <laughs> really sorry. Third time I'm a test pilot for over there. no. <laughs> boy, that's enough of that. Now, we're not going to take any chances with this nice-looking boy playing the drums over there. Uh, ladies, his name is Mel Bly. And a good one. Now you know the band. And, boys, I guess we're going to get by pretty cheap on this show. We don't have to hire a comedian now, Joe. Yeah, the boys are with him, yeah. Boy, I'll yeah. tell you. You tell got any what? jokes you want to tell? Or? Not after that. No, sir. <laughs> I've worn off. Not me. No, but right now, folks, I'd like to tell you that Red is going to have the very first of his guests in just a minute. The strength and moral character of the nation can be no better than the moral character of the family. Working together is one way to enrich family life. Having fun together is another. Praying together is still another. Worshiping together as a family restores and deepens one's faith, tightens family bonds, gives courage and strength to the family, to the nation. Worship together this week in the church or synagogue of your choice. state of Oklahoma is known for a lot of wonderful things. And among them, one of my favorite items is a group called the Oklahoma Wranglers, better known as the Willis Brothers, right here. Here they are. Going to give the folks a little hand. for the outfit, is that right? I, I expect so. Well, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> well, what you boys, what you boys go to pick and sing for? Right? We learned a new tune in one of our quiet moments, Red. Really. Yeah. But I can do it for you now. It's called Who the Backer. Oh, my God. <laughs> God. Look, you guys go ahead and I'll find me a towel. All right. You? Here we go. Who the Oh, the Backer. On Tessie's wedding gown. Well, it must have been that Martin boy, cause Tessie turned him down. The coys were set to be full, and there stood Martin Brown. When someone took the backer of Tessie's wedding gown, her ma and the ma, the kinfolks all a crying. No wonder no one saw that a flying. The sheriff says, Why cracky, I'll mow the varmint down. The guy that took the backer of Tessie's wedding gown. Oh, 
Packer on Pepsi's wet gown. Well, he aimed his fair and he hit her square for to be like the ground. That Martin boy is wacky. It's all all over town. What did he? The Packer on Pepsi's wet gown. The old Reed organ played in till it quivered. No wonder no one heard that sliver. The boys are out to keep They'll hang him upside down. The guy that took the Packer on Pepsi's wet gown. The old Reed organ played it till it quivered. No wonder no one heard that sliver. Upside downers, the guy that fell. Tobacco. Oh, Pepsi's wedding gown. I enjoyed that. The title of that, I just like to. I just learned what it was. It's who tobacco. That's right. That's it. That's it. Well, sir. They show a draw of tall, and their mammy raised some real nice-looking boys. Willis really We like you folks to meet another product of the great state of Oklahoma now. Of course, she didn't uh, get her share of the growth. She told her, I, well, uh, I don't know whether they stunted her or not, but here she is, a little girl that's done some wonderful things in this business called country music. Miss Jean Shepard. Jeannie, what you gonna sing, sweetie? How come a man can fight and cuss and smoke and drink and chew? Step out on their wives and do the things they shouldn't do. Well, it's all right in the public side, they say he's just a man. If a woman dies, one little thing, she ain't worth a Come over here, Dispenter, will you, good buddy? All right. Well, there he is. <laughs> Let me get up here with you. This, ladies and gentlemen, is Hawkshaw Hawkins. Me, you've met Hawk before. Oh, well, I don't think I have. Right <laughs> 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 anyway, you folks can sort of get an idea here of the old West Virginia Hills here, the Hawk from the West Virginia Hills. Okay, they tell me that we're the youngest in your younger days, you used to be a horse man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 I wasn't such a good swimmer, Red, but I'll tell you one thing. I could sure do some fire wading, boy. Have <laughs> <laughs> you got the thing to do? Yes, I got it. You go over here. All right, right I'll tell you, I want to do a little thing here called I'll Take a Chance. Take a chance, take a chance. I'll take a chance with you, love. I'm throwing my chair. All in for life without you is no good. Love. I must take a chance to win. Love is a game of. 
of chance I take Where the deal isn't always fair I'll take a chance in my heart that I hope our two hearts make a pair I'll lead with my heart If you follow through With two hearts together I know I can't lose I'll take a chance setting for this next boy. Uh, you saw a look behind me here. I imagine this boy was born and about half raised in just such a place as this right here. A wonderful fellow. We sort of refer to him as the Kentucky Colonel of Corn or the foreign correspondent from Kentucky. Wonderful boy. You're going to enjoy it. Pete Stamper. <laughs> <laughs> I'm real glad you fellas didn't play any more of that Kentucky home. I, I probably went. <laughs> I was already pretty well on my way to being homesick. And I've been sitting back there reading. I just got our paper today, and I brought it along. And I've been sitting there reading it. I always get our paper every week. It's a weekly paper. <laughs> more so this week than it usually is. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't too much in it this time. <laughs> Mainly telling about a little fire that we had down there. <laughs> there did say what burned, uh, but uh, <laughs> there was an article here that told about the building. It said that uh, it ordinarily would have went up in two hours. But our volunteer fire department got there and kept going for here all day. <laughs> we got a we got a used to be doctor ahead of our fire department. He can't stand to see nothing die. <laughs> <laughs> on, on the front page was what was kind of surprised me. There was a picture there of our uh, it was kind of little uh, convention there. Uh, the lightning rod salesman had, and uh, they, they didn't go. One of them got sick, and the other didn't go by himself. <laughs> but uh, everybody, everybody that they, they invited was there, and the picture was of a girl that there that, that I know down home. Uh, I went to school with her, and she said, "The only friend is who it is. I don't care today who it is." <laughs> uh, she always had a kind of a skin defect, kind of a breaking out. And, uh, it was the itch of what she had. <laughs> she always trying to find cures for it. There was one doctor, uh, asked her, the one down home asked her if she ever had it before, and she said she had, and he said, well, you got it again. There wasn't no doubt about that. <laughs> but, uh, 
The only thing that ever done her any good was a little thing that I looked up in the paper. I told her about taking a milk bath and uh, doing her pretty good. She didn't take a bath. They didn't have a tub, so she took the candle off and took a shower. <laughs> <laughs> She finally got rid of it. The edge, not the cow. Well, I, I gotta go. Go off. I'll see you all right now. Please, Barbara, thank you a lot. Now, friends, the uh, next item of business we've got here, we're gonna take just a little bit breather right now and want you to pay strict attention to this. I've already mentioned that we're having our program originate tonight from the studios of the University of Missouri's own commercial television station. And now here speaking for the university is the assistant to the president for television, Dr. Edward Lamb. Thank you, Joe. The University of Missouri is the oldest state university west of the Mississippi and soon celebrates its 116th birthday. It has long been famous in the communications field for its world-renowned school of journalism, one of Missouri's 10 divisions. Missouri's is the first journalism school in the world. It was founded in 1908 by the Missouri Press Association and Mr. Walter Williams, who recognized the value of specialized journalism training. Since that time, the School of Journalism has maintained its pace of progress with professional training for newspaper, radio, magazine, and television. Many famous and familiar names are listed on the roll of the journalism school graduates. Students from all over the world come to Missouri University to study for degrees of Bachelor of Journalism and to do graduate work for advanced degrees. Well, so we have a young man with us now, friends, that we're sort of proud of. He's one of the favorite sons of the South. He's one of them uh, boys that was born and raised in the great state of South Carolina, and he's raised on what you might say, old ham, hock, and beans. Yeah. Ah, boys, I knew that would bring something out of you. Here he is, Tommy Soap. I'd like to sing a tune to the folks, because if I give my heart to you. If I give my heart to you. Will you handle it with care? Will you always treat me tenderly? And in every way be fair? If I give my heart to you, will you give me all your love? Will you swear that you By the light that shines above And will you sigh with me When I'm sad Smile with me When I'm glad And always with me As you are with me Do not all these things to me, then I'll give my heart to you. Shines above, and will you tie with me 
spots down here, too, haven't you, Tommy, buddy? Play all them goat ropings and pool rooms, Red. Right? <laughs> 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 you get a little bit. Ah, well, so we'd like to get a little bit on the serious side, folks. Uh, we'd like to talk about a gentleman with the name of Stuart Campbell that writes some soul-stirring songs, and uh, he writes them more or less on, on true facts. Uh, well, for example, here's one that sort of swept the country called This Old House. And here's the Foggy River Boys with their version, This Old House. This old house is getting shaky and this old house is getting hot. This old house lives in the rain and this old house is missing hot. Oh, my knees are getting chilly, but I feel no fear of pain. Cause I see an angel peeking through a broken window. Ain't got time to fix the table, then I ain't got time to fix the door. Ain't got time to all the tenses, nor to mend the window pane. Ain't gonna need this house no longer, I'm getting ready to make the same. This old house is afraid of thunder, and this old house is afraid of snow. This old house is small and will when the night will say goodbye. This old house is against the this old house is a deep pain. Just like me, it's puckered out, but I'm getting ready to be the same. Ain't got time to fix the table, then I ain't got time to fix the door. Ain't got time to all the things in our new window window pane. Ain't it gonna need this house no longer? I'm getting ready to be the same. Sleeping. He don't know I'm going to leave He'll see him wake up by the fireplace And he'll sit there and he'll howl and scream But my hunting days are over I ain't going to hunt the coon no more Gave him a rod in the chariot When the wind blew down the door Ain't going to leave this house no Time for a very special message just for you. Well, now, this is to remind me to remind you to join us at Springfield, Missouri's Jewel Theater at your very first opportunity, friends, because we can guarantee you two full hours of country music's best when you come to see our show in person. For a complete information on attending the show, just put your name and address on a postcard and mail it to us at Ozark Jubilee. Springfield, Missouri. The Ozark Jubilee, starring Red Foley, continues after a brief pause for station identification. This is ABC Television Network.